As you can probably guess, debates at the State House and what's said during those debates, they seem to get our attention. But that's not the only thing. There's actually a lot of agreement happening because otherwise, well, nothing would ever pass. But in fact, the House unanimously passed a House bill, House Bill 18 today. The bill would permanently extend psychological workers' compensation for Idaho's first responders. Passed unanimously. It covered people suffering from PTSD and emotional trauma from the work they do. The only debate, though, actually came from outside the state house walls. Former Ada County Governor Dottie Owens posted on Facebook that the law does not go far enough because under Idaho law, first responders, well, it doesn't include coroners, death investigators, or forensics that are involved in those cases. Owens says those people deal with some pretty, well, a lot of trauma, and a lot of it the most trauma. But yet Idaho's laws don't give them the same amount of help. Here's Andrew Bartline. First responders deal with a lot. They see horrible, horrible things in their line of work. But after an initial deadly scene clears. You know, it's her entire life. It's her career. Someone has to stay behind. I had a family member, the mom, called me on the anniversary of her daughter's death every single July for five years. So think about that. It times the call volume. If you have these family members calling for support, and I need to just talk about what you saw again. I need to talk about the case again. Can you go through the photos with me again? Dottie Owens is the former Ada County coroner. It's such a stressful job. It is. It's stressful. But not stressful enough we'll now have before it has built to make 18. the cut. We would have ongoing coverage for these post-traumatic stress injuries for our first responders who encounter terrible and unimaginable things in their line of work. In 2019, Idaho lawmakers passed a temporary law to provide workers' compensation to first responders. Today, the Idaho House unanimously voted to make this law permanent. But the law leaves behind key personnel. It's unfortunate that coroners and forensic pathologists and forensic techs and administration in that in that office don't get to utilize any of those services. Multiple times since 2019, Owen says she reached out to lawmakers to catch coroners. Nothing. Back up. Crickets. I agree with her concerns, and I think the next step should be to add coroners to this to this statute. Representative Elena Rebell sponsored both bills. Well, the first responders very much just wanted to keep their bill clean and just discreetly focused on their issue uh, so that they don't take any chances that theirs goes awry before we start adding in other groups. That's what I got two years ago. That's what I was told four years ago. If we add anybody to it, we're not going to get it passed. We got to get it passed, get it on the books, and then we can do the amendments. And so at what point do we get to quit amending and do something with it? Rebell says first responders may have provided a roadmap where a temporary law shows the success or failures and then paves the way to a permanent solution. It's going to be pretty traumatic. You're going to see some pretty awful things. Um, so I think it does make a lot of sense to include them in this coverage. But Owen says coroners have already been left behind for House four years. House Bill 18 has passed the House. Still begging for the coverage to leave their emotional trauma behind instead. So why don't they get the benefits of the mental health part? It really devalues what we do in the field. Representative Rebell says that in 2019, Brian, wasteful spending was a big concern among people who maybe weren't supporting this bill, this legislation. Mm -hmm. Well, over time, it's shown that about half a million dollars a year is what it comes out to in the cost to provide these services, workers' compensation for psychological trauma to first responders. So showing that it's not a huge financial burden, she thinks has led to more support today. But Dottie Owen says there is a high turnover. Yeah. People that do this job, uh, investigators, imagine. like five years and they're out. Very talented people leave after five years. And sure. she says if something doesn't change, she thinks it's going to be a very, very big problem down the road. What I find interesting, too, about this is when it comes to guns and mass shootings and stuff, and the cry from a certain aspect of this culture is, well, we need to focus more on mental health. But then the time comes to actually spend some money on that mental health. Well, then it's like, well, I don't mean for everybody. Yeah, and that's tough, too. You know, you broaden that tent. Yeah. Put everybody under the sun who might have you know, some psychological trauma. Well, right. people might say that's wasteful and then no. So it's maybe a catch-22 in a sense. All right, we'll see if they keep adding amendments. All right, thanks, Andrew.